Let's see this. What's up, everyone? Hi, Sydney. It's Sydney Goodman here, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Game Awards pre-show. And please allow me to be the first to thank you for setting down Cyberpunk for a few hours. As you can probably I mean, it's tell, the shit. Game Awards are going it's to fine. look a little different this year. Our venue may be smaller, but the show itself is as gigantic as ever. The awards and world premieres won't be changing, except I guess the only people clapping will be me and probably a few crew members. Going remote this year will bring us musical performances from London and Tokyo. And oh, one nice. positive of tonight's mostly digital gathering is we'll get to see more faces in the talented teams behind this year's outstanding nice. nominated games. As for us here in the pre-show, we'll be hmm. spending the remaining minutes before the Game Awards kick off with brand new trailers, mercifully brief integrated marketing, and Lynn will be performing a song from Persona 5 Strikers. And best nice. of all, the big reason we're all here, awards. Our first category tonight is Best Score in Music. It's a particularly strong contest this year with five standout yeah. nominees that could on their own represent the best. I mean, I know who I voted for. Here are the nominees for best score in music. Doom Eternal. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hades. Mm -hmm. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And The Last of Us Part Two. And the winner I haven't played is... all of them. Final Fantasy VII Fuck VII yeah. Remake. That's the one I voted for. Yeah, it was a fucking accomplishment. Yeah, it was a fucking accomplishment. So, I'm going to play this one. As I said earlier, you'll be seeing a variety of different world premieres throughout this pre-show, but strangely enough, we've decided to show you our most important one first. Here it is. What? Welcome to the Devolver Digital 2021 oh, nice. Game of the Year Award, sponsored by Devolver Digital. And now, your host, Devolver Digital CEO, Nita Smith. Whoa. Okay. okay, okay, shush it. So yeah, tonight we are here to celebrate this year's most Fucking memorable love her. video games. Let's not overlook the unrelenting hype, not for this, but for next year's as yet to be released games coming at you hot from what many believe to be this industry's most ridiculously overrated publisher. While most of these games are months away from release, we at Devolver Digital are strong proponents of awards for awards sake. And with that, the nominees for the Devolver Digital 2021 Game of the Year I fucking, are I fucking love Shadow Devolver. Boy 3 by Flying Wild Hog. I mean, yeah. Olea by Skeleton Crew Studio. Card Shark by Nereal. Weird West by Wolfeye. And Boomer Fall Guys. X by Dang. And Fall Guys. Really? Loop Hero by developer Four Quarters. What? Oh, okay. Four Quarters it couldn't be here with us. It wasn't even a nominee. It was unannounced until, well, just now, really. Let's have a look at Loop Hero. Nice. The world has been cast into a dark it's so it's a roguelike. Please enchant it. Build cathedrals and remember your world. Oh, this is interesting. I'm not gonna play it, but it is interesting. To level up your hero, expand your camp, customize your card deck, and uncover secrets. Face the lich, break the spiral, and save your world. Cool. Hero. Coming in 2021. Cool. Yes. Oh, hey, thank you. Uh, we'll see you next year. Or whatever. Sorry, th there was some weird stuff there. Every I thought year, I read Devil. Game Awards do our best to highlight new games from all sorts of developers, from mm -hmm. AAA big shots like Devolver to smaller independent studios. 
Our next world premiere is the big, debut big, of a new mm. game from Awaseb, a young studio started in New Caledonia. Enjoy. New Caledonia? I don't even know where that is. Oh, this is pretty. Uh, what? Yeah, okay. I like, like, I, I like the way it looks. I like it a lot, actually. It's really cute. Oh! Someone learned. What the hell? Oh, this is really interesting. This is really cute. This is so cute. It's a lot more elaborate than, than I thought it was going to be. Yeah! Oh, love it. I love it. It's cute. It's really cute. Oh, cool on nights! That's, that's, uh... Is, is that a publisher? But this same for Spirit This next category is for one of gaming's most popular genres action adventure sure the breadth of what is considered an action adventure game also leads to this regularly being one of our most competitive categories incidentally for the past three years the game award winner for action adventure has gone on to win game of the year so okay this is a big one here are the nominees for best action adventure game assassin's creed valhalla no fucking way ghost of tsushima yes fucking way marvel spider-man miles morales I wouldn't. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Eh. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fuck. And The Last of Us Part Two. Yeah, The Last of Us. I wouldn't. And the I wouldn't is... put it there. But uh, it might be Ghost of, the, Ghost of Tsushima. The Last of Us Part Two. Really? Wow, we won. Uh, this is awesome. We want to thank the Game Awards for choosing us as the best action adventure game. Um, on behalf of the directors, which is myself, Anthony nice. Newman, and Neil Druckmann. Uh, we want to thank the entire team at Naughty Dog who poured their heart and souls into this game. It's really their talent that immerses you in that world and mm -hmm. really makes you feel like you're on this journey with Ellie. Uh, we want to thank Evan Wells, our president, uh, also everyone at Sony and our partners for really helping us uh, put this game together and get out the door. Um, and especially to our fans who supported us and... Uh, really help make this game something special. Yeah. Uh, you guys make it worth it. So thank you again. Congratulations once more to The Last of Us Part Two. We have many more awards coming up in the pre-show, but first, here's another trailer. Yeah. Show me something big. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Connie. I'm the CEO and creative director of my games company called Yo Mai. And Yo Mai. Oh, it Berlin. was right. such an honor to be nominated for the Games for Impact category at last year's The Game Awards for our most important project. Ah, oh, right. Sea of Solitude. Called okay. Sea of Solitude. I'm very happy to announce that Sea of Solitude will be coming to Nintendo Switch this winter. But it's not just a port. We fully reworked the entire game. We're calling it the Director's Cup because it's a version that truly represents what I wanted to oh, convey about fuck. the topics that are especially I'm sorry. important in today's difficult times. We can't wait to share it with you. Sorry, until are we, are we, are we fully shitting on Xbox? The Game Awards and see you soon. Holy shit. We are fully. Sh that that was a, f a full diss on on uh, on Xbox though. Was it Quantic Dream? Is it a Quantic Dream game? My monsters. The path is, full of is it a Quantic Dream game? You know them too, don't you? What? The They're waiting for you. 
for us to capture. Is it published by Quantic Dream? Is that it? To drown. Quantic Dream is a Sony studio. We'll face them. I don't know. Maybe there's more than one studio we'll called Quantic Dream. The sea of solitude. We'll set sail and we won't stop until we reach safe harbor together. What are we going to see here? I'd have to see a comparison to see if, if it made a difference. Are you ready? Yep. That's so weird. It really is weird. We've had some great world premieres already, but we recognize there may be some fans of elegant shadow-based puzzle games who feel left out. Don't worry. Shadow-based puzzle games. For you too. From Focus Home Interactive, here is Shady Part of Me. Shady Part of Me. Yeah. That's a cool name. There once was a girl who was trapped in That's the dark cute. with naught but her shadow for company. A journey to escape she did embark, and her shadow followed distrustfully. Girl found no hope in light, but despair. Her shadow smiled. With me there is a way. Hand in hand, we break free this from this nether. This would have been be better if it, if it rhymed. But it's fine. We will rise that's cool. Together. Oh, that's a cool logo. Oh, it's available. Okay, fuck it. If you're just joining us now, welcome. We're in the middle of what has turned out to be a jam-packed pre-show for the Game Awards. Yeah. We've just premiered two trailers back-to-back. And now we'd like to take a moment to announce the winners of three awards. Three First awards is best family game, a category that did a lot of heavy lifting this year throughout yep. the months of what seems like endless lockdown. When pools closed and Chuck E. Cheese went bankrupt, family games were always there. Did it? Did the it go bankrupt? Are Animal Crossing: New Horizons, Crash Bandicoot 4: It's About Time, Fall Guys: Ultimate Knockout. Uh -huh. Mario Kart Live, Home Circuit. I mean, Minecraft Dungeons, and Paper Mario. The how, how is it game. not Animal and Crossing the winner though? Is Animal Crossing yeah, New Horizons? Yeah, of course it is. Next, I have the honor of awarding Best Community Support. This category debuted last year, and it represents the games that truly value their player base. Demonstrated through communication okay. and respect. Here are the nominees. Apex Legends. Destiny 2. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Fortnite. No Man's Sky. Mm -hmm. And Valorant. And the winner is... I mean, No Man's Sky is Fall doing Guys a lot of work. Ultimate Knockout. Sure. Finally, we get to acknowledge the winner for Best Debut Game. This, of course, goes to nominees that represent an independent studio's first ever. So it's release. either going to be Phasmophobia or. Perspectives, new ideas, and distinguished bravery. Uh, what were the others? The nominees for best debut game are. Carry In. Hmm. Mortal Shell. Hmm. Phasmophobia. I think it might be Phasmophobia. Raji, an ancient epic. And Roki. And the winner is. Phasmophobia. Yeah, it would be. That's five trophies down, and the Game Awards haven't even officially started yet. Okay. As the handy countdown timer says, we are minutes away, so I'd like to take a moment to let you know about a few ways you can interact with tonight's big show. Cool. All night long, fans will be predicting the winners on Twitch using a special voting extension powered by Verizon, 5G built for gamers. Yeah, it's powered by Verizon. Cool. your picks cool. throughout the night to see if you guessed the right winner and whether you're watching on our official channel or from one of hundreds of co-streams. Mega Drops will be activated for Fortnite and Among Us. 
Over the last few days, fans have visited our at the Game Awards TikTok oh, channel. Oh, what happened with the audio there? On which The Last of Us Part Two team they support, Team Abby or Team Ellie? The votes are in, and Team Ellie yeah, won the vote. Of course. Thanks for your votes, and be sure to follow us on TikTok. Oh, what, 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 why did you why did you even do that? Although uh, although I'm I'm sort of Team we Abby Reddit myself. R slash gaming community to see what their pick is for 2020's Game of the Year, and the winner is Ghost of Tsushima. As for the Game Award for Game of the Year, we obviously won't learn that until the end of the night. For now, we're about to take a you super short Reddit? break, but coming up on the okay. other side, we've got winners for each of our esports awards, a Persona 5 Strikers performance, and of course, more world premieres. Hey, thanks, Sydney. Listen, it's hard for me to believe that it was 27 years ago Who are you? my brother Robin and I watched players venture into the Ages of Mist for the first time. Oh, okay. Anyway, today I am so excited to start a new chapter of Mist with the release of an entirely reconstructed VR version. Oh, that's cool. Now that's actually, Oculus that's Quest really platform. cool. We've got something special for anyone who purchases Mist. They'll unlock a Mist-themed Oculus Home environment. I'm so thrilled oh, nice. for you to experience Mist in VR, and thank you so much for your continued love and support. Cool. It, it was never my thing, but it's cool. It's cool. I mean, if, if any game should get VR, it's this. to the Game Awards pre-show. For the first time ever, I get to introduce a musical performance right here in the pre-show. And I'm not sure there could be anything better to jump off with. Performing Last Surprise from the Persona 5 Striker soundtrack from Tokyo, Japan. Is it a different here version? Here is Lynn featuring the Persona band. Game Awards. Are you ready? Don't do that. Oh, it's a, it's a different version. It is. It's much more Tecmo Koei. It's a good voice. You'll never see it coming. Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, the the the, um, the Musou games are a lot more uh, into the metal style. Not really metal, but rock. No, but this is metal. It's light metal, but it is metal. I can't, I can't tell what the lyrics are. Cool. 
I mean, I prefer the other version, but, but, but it really is a matter of preference. It is the same singer, though, isn't it? I think it is. Very good, very good. At this year's TGS, Square Enix officially announced an update to 2010's Near Replicant, the prequel to Near Automata. Yep. The actual title of this remake was, of course, another sick joke from director Yoko Taro. But the Game Awards pre-show will never turn down a challenge. Tonight, I am both happy and unafraid to introduce the gameplay debut for Near Replicant version 1.22 47448713 dot 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 Yeah, that's that's a dumb title. It looks fucking good. It looks fucking great. Look at that. Is that, the same, is that the same desert? Looks similar. Holy shit! Wow. Okay. It's been a special night already, and now I get to share with you another Game Awards first, the world premiere of a new band. You heard me correctly. They're playing their debut single, Follow Unfollow. Please welcome, for the first time ever, OFK. OFK? Oh, is it a virtual band? Cool. Do it. That's good. Pretty good. When? That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Oh, kitties! Yeah, cool. That's a bop. Tonight's about celebrating what are we gonna all see more? 20's best in the world of gaming. And that would be impossible without honoring esports best talent. Yeah, yeah. Who despite Get that out of the way. thrived and continued to entertain and inspire. Of the 30 different game awards categories, five are esports awards. We're about to announce each winner, but I may need to call in some help to get through them all. We'll see. Here we go. For best esports game. The nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, right, the usernames. Counter Strike dumb. Global Offensive. Fortnite. League of Legends. I literally and don't Valorant. care. And the winner is 
League of Legends. For best esports coach, the nominees are Krusty, Grabs, Rambo, Zepha, and Zonic. And the winner is cool. Zonic. For best esports event, the nominees are Blast Premier Spring 2020 European Finals. Dude, make it Call shorter. Call League Championship 2020. IEM Katowice 2020. League of Legends World Championship 2020. Yeah. And Overwatch League Grand Finals 2020. And the winner is League of Legends yeah, it World would be. Championship 2020. It's the, if it's the best esport game, it would be the For best, e best competition. Host, the nominees are Dash, Golden Boy, mm -hmm. Machine, Shiver, and Shox. And the winner is Shox. Shox. Yep. For best esports team, the nominees are Dallas Empire, Dam One Gaming, G2 Esports, San Francisco Shock, and Team Secret. Mm -hmm. And the winner is G2 Esports. Literally could not care less. Congratulations to all of the winners. And now to announce the winner of best esports athlete. Here's the host of ESPN's First Take and the new ESPN Plus show, Stephen A's World, Stephen A. Smith. I know what y'all are thinking. Did they just bring Stephen A. Smith to the Game Awards in an effort to legitimize esports as something equal to athletic sports? Nah, that's not the point. They're doing their thing. When every major sports league in the nation shut down, esports just kept on going. With that being said, I'll say this much. All of the esports athletes nominated are without question more determined, more tenacious, and definitely win more than anybody on the Dallas Cowboys. Ooh. Now for our nominee. Ouch. Crim Six, Showmaker, Kenyon, Shotzi, Zai Wu. And the winner is. Showmaker. You can definitely that was nice. sense it, right? The Game Awards are about to begin. Stephen A. Smith just handed out the final award of the pre-show. And now it's time for one last premiere before the main show begins. And it's got something we could all use a little more of. Dragons fighting dragons. Here's Sentry, Age of Ashes. What? Dragons fighting dragons, what is it? Playwing. Never heard of it. Okay. I need gameplay. This is gameplay? Hmm, okay. This is the actual game? This is a next gen game then. Like the next gen only. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's PC only. Cool. It's pretty cool. Looks, looks, looks pretty cool. And with that, it means I'm about to sign off and hand it Jack over Kili. to Jack. Look forward to performances from Eddie Vedder and the London Philharmonic Orchestra, who will be playing the traditional Game of the Year medley, as well as a special surprise. I love surprises. There will be world premieres from Fall Guys, Dragon Age, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Among Us, huge surprises, little surprises, and of course, awards for the greatest games of 2020. This is Sydney Goodman signing off. The Game Awards start right now. Let's go.
Oh, you still have a stage though. Ooh, nice Hello, kicks. Hello everyone around the world and welcome to the Game Awards 2020. We are so happy to have you joining us tonight. You know, this Why are you year, still holding course, a mic, you, a you dork? Uh, it's been a tough year for everyone, I know. And normally, with the holiday season, we'd all be gathering with our friends and family. And I know that can't happen for all of us. But tonight, we can gather here and connect around games, something that we all love. Games connect us. And I'm here in Los Angeles. And whether you're watching live right now in China early in the morning, in Europe, America, my native Canada, wherever you are, uh, mm -hmm. Even in India this Look, I'm, year. I'm getting steady 4K. Globe, I'm happy. Coming together tonight to celebrate our love of video games. Uh, now, to keep everyone safe tonight, nominees are going to be joining us live via Zoom from all over Good. the world. You can see them there. Hi, everybody. They're all joining us from their homes and their studios. Is China, that, Europe, it is. Los Angeles, far and wide. Oh, that's actually too. We will have all these guys joining us uh, tonight as we get through all the awards live in the show. Uh, we're going to be joined also by some very special guests. Keanu Reeves, Gal Gadot, Brie Larson, Tom Holland, Christopher Nolan, John David Washington, the Swedish chef, Reggie, and more. And we also it's have just a Reggie. very special performance by Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Uh, he will be in Seattle. And the London Philharmonic Orchestra from Abbey Road Studios in London, conducted by Lauren Balfe. It is going to be an amazing show. And as always, nice. we've got the awards. We've got first looks. We've got new game announcements. All of the things that make the Game Awards special will be here. And what I love about this show is that the entire industry comes together tonight to yep. celebrate games. Everyone is here. Or at least I thought everyone was here. It does sound like we're still expecting someone else to arrive. Kojima? Fuck, is it Kojima? Fuck! It's this. Okay, 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 okay. What's it gonna be, though? What? Sorry, is, is this story gonna continue? No. Who could we be missing? Yeah, we've seen this. Did, did time stop? Fuck you. Fuck you. Are you serious? Sh Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, that range. What? Yeah, I'm gonna need an explanation on what you do. Oh, that's your... You have a transformation. Holy shit. Sorry, are you are you a, a an echo fighter for you're not. Come on, Cloud. Ah uh, no. Are you doing it? Omni Slash version 5? What are you talking about? What? Nice. Keep doing it. Yeah, that's not gonna it's not gonna end there. What are you doing? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? 
What are you talking about? Holy shit. All right, the fun is just getting started. But of course, this show is also about awards. And to Holy present our first shit. award, you probably know her as Captain Marvel. She's an Oscar-winning okay. actor, a filmmaker, and a Brie Larson, activist. And she's joining us now live on Zoom. It's Brie Larson. Hey, Brie. Hello. Tonight, I am honored to present the award for best performance. Among the nominees is an inclusive group of talented actors filling vastly different roles in games that are nothing alike. However, these artists are nominated tonight for what they share in common, a clear dedication to their craft and an extraordinary ability to bring humanity and empathy to their roles. Yep. Here are the nominees for best performance. Best performance. I mean, I, I, lo I love I love this game, but it, but it, but it, it, he does not deserve Stupid to win. I'm sorry. You shall never reach the surface. No, Laura Bailey is always nominated. Don't be a hero, Miles. Also, I don't think he deserves to win. I think I think Ashley Johnson should win. And the game award goes to Laura Bailey. Okay. And Abby, The Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh wow! Um, wow! Uh, I I was such a fan of the original uh, Last of Us and of Troy and Ashley's performances within mm -hmm. it. Um, I fell in love with Joel Winelli, so it is no surprise to me that uh, Abby's role within this story has been met with such. Uh, passionate responses <laughs> but um to have been able to play such a fantastically challenging character mm -hmm. who through her story enables the player to find forgiveness and empathy is something that i'll be eternally grateful for yep um Fuck them. Oh, man, I told the team on the day that I finished filming that what i wanted more than anything was for my performance to to give a performance that honored the impact that the original game had on me. So this award means so much. Um, thank you to Neil and to Hallie and the entire team for giving me the opportunity mm -hmm. and for all of the support and the guidance along the way. Um, Fucking awesome. To Patrick and Ian and Grace for uh, everything you did. The, the, the story and Abby would not have been as impactful without you by my side. Um, to Troy who <laughs> through our i don't know decades of working together in this industry we've been we've been allies we've been enemies and we've been everything in between uh and every single time i work with you i come away better for it thank you for always having my back yep and to ashley who i love so much um I don't know what else to say other than um, I think you should oh. probably be giving the speech right now. I think you're amazing and your your strength and your power and your vulnerability and your performance left me speechless. Um, I love you. Marry me. <laughs> to my husband, Travis, who spent countless hours just listening to me come to terms with what this uh, game's journey has been. Um, and to the fans obviously to everyone who voted thank you for your support yep. and for your love and for your passion jesus that's this is a massive fuck you though to go on this journey with abby and with me to the haters thank i mean you. i love you <laughs> congratulations laura i think i heard i messages coming in for people congratulating as that was going on it's uh so great to have everyone here celebrating an amazing year yep. of games All right, amazing we are streaming on every platform tonight including Twitch, where we have drops for Among Us and Fortnite, who both have world premieres coming up uh, later in the show. And throughout the night, we will also be interactive on Twitch. You can predict who you think will win using a Twitch extension. And first up, best ongoing game, so go and vote now. Lock in your predictions. All right, well, even with everything going on, it's been one of those special years that sees the launch of new next-gen consoles. And with that, brings a whole new generation of games. Mm -hmm. Tonight, we are honored to have one team, a new team of veterans, reveal the very first details about their ambitious and exciting new project okay. right here at the Game Awards. Gimme. Enjoy. Gimme. 
Is it gonna be Elden Ring? Pretty much since the day I started, there has been a really clear player fantasy. I think the thing what that, is this? that makes it different from a lot of first person games is it's not just about shooting. Eco sci-fi is a term that we use. Future fiction, but from an ecological focus. There's been this ecological disaster. These corporations came in and they developed new technology and on the surface everything's Everything's pretty great. We're still early in the what development, is this? but we're really excited with where things are going. We wanted to share a cinematic piece that helps set the tone for our world. Yeah, that's what trailers should be. What is this? The initiative. The initiative. The initiative. The initiative. Why, why, why do I know this? Isn't the initiative the, the, the Kerbal team? I remember when everything changed. The floods. The, the initiative. The, the initiative? The initiative? The fires. The initiative? People dying in the streets. The corporations gave us solutions. Uh-huh. A better world. The initiative. Why do I know that name? And we welcome them into our lives. But the laws of nature aren't meant to be broken. We need to know what they're hiding. Huh? What is this? Did you find the answers you were looking for? Agent Dark? Are you fucking are you fucking kidding me? Okay, yeah, cool. Cool. Uh, show the game though. A, a trailer is not enough for this. Yeah, cool. Fuck you. There you go. Perfect dark from the initiative Xbox. Very exciting to have that announced. All right, well, we're going to go right into another game announcement for the first time right here at the Game Awards. Check it out. Yeah? I think... I'm sorry, what? What is that? Yay, zombies! Turtle, Turtle Rock? This is Left 4 Dead, though. No, no, it's not the Left 4 Dead. It's the... Is it? Is it? No, it wouldn't be Left 4 Dead 3. That would... That would break the curse. There's too many! Stick together! We got a job to do. Remember? No worm-ridden son of a bitch is gonna stop us. No, also not not the not not the same same kind of zombies. What am I thinking about? There's there's a thought in the, in the back of my head. Turtle Rock, Turtle Rock. Yeah, it's the Evolve. It's the Evolve team. What were they doing though? Oh fuck. What is that? Wouldn't it wouldn't be Left 4 Dead 3, would it? No, the, no again, the, it's not the same kind of zombies. A little club soda will take that right out. Was that? Gross. 
You gross, yeah. What is this? It there's definitely back for blood. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely capitalizing on the left for dead thing. I'm not sure they can do that. Back for blood, and I'm now joined by Chris Ashton of Turtle Rock Studios. Uh, this is pretty exciting for all us Left for Dead fans. Of course, uh, you yep. guys are known for all the amazing work Left for Dead, and now you're building uh, this on uh, building on the legacy with this new zombie co-op shooter. Uh, I, I what's really new? don't what fucking can you tell care. Us about it, Chris? Well, we wanted to do more and bigger, right? We wanted to have more playable characters, uh, more missions. There's more four. You, sh you showed four. Uh, but we also wanted to have a bigger variety of zombies to fight, right? But also we wanted to go bigger. So now we've got these 20 foot tall uh, zombie monstrosities that are definitely going to take, you know, the help of your friends in order to defeat. All right. Well, it's great to have this game announced, but it sounds like I, I, I think you've prepared a little surprise for everyone watching, right? Oh, yeah. Like uh, movies are cool, but uh, gameplay is king, right? So let's see some of that. Okay, here we go. Here's the gameplay reveal of Back for Blood. Thanks, Chris. Cool. Still not gonna play it. Does look good. One for speeches. So how about we just go kill some real? Oh, man, it looks good. Oh, damn. Here we go. Watch out. I got a bullet for you. And you. And you. Yeah, it's a shooter. Cool. Ugh, fuck. Are you safe in here? Oh, cool. Yeah, shoot the shoot the the red parts. I think the the blobs. The cores or whatever they're called. Do these guys ever take a vacation? I mean no. They literally don't die. Please just die already. You're gonna die, buddy. I mean graphically it looks great, but that's just because it's a next gen game, right? There you go, back for blood, June next year, alpha next week, crazy. All right, very exciting. Well, tonight we're celebrating games and we've got awesome discounts on many of tonight's nominees with the Game Awards sale across Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo eShop, Epic nice. Game Store, and Steam. And we also have the Game Awards Festival, a chance to play upcoming games like Little Nightmares 2, and some of the games are also available uh, instantly with GeForce Now. So make sure to check that out. You can stream on any device with no downloads on GeForce Now. Well, we also have a lot of great stuff coming up. We'll have performances from the London Philharmonic Orchestra and Eddie Vedder. But right now, two years ago, we announced at the Game Awards Scavengers from Midwinter Entertainment. Everyone has been wondering when they'll get to play it. For news on that, let's hear from Midwinter's Josh Holmes. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. I do have a really exciting update for you. But first, I just want to thank the many thousands of players who've been testing the game with us over the past year. Your feedback and your support means the world to us. We couldn't do this without you. Mm. But today, I have big news to share. Explorers. 
It's time. You'll face off against many others. There are countless strategies and paths to success. Find the ones that get you back alive. This is where the real fun starts. I've been preparing this for years. Now, I need you. Keep up. If you can see. Oh, it's, it starts now. Okay, cool. <laughs> time to light the fire. Now it's gonna be a good time, isn't it? Everything is in place. Your test begins now. Yay! Literally don't care. Alright, so there you have it. The PC closed beta for scavengers starts right now. If you're part of our community, you can play with your existing Steam key. But we're also opening up 50,000 slots for new players. So go to playscavengers.com, sign up for free, and we'll see you in the game. Cool. Oh, is this the Robin Hood one? This... this... I'm sorry, but oof, oof. It is, it is right. Hood or whatever it's called, right? better now. I'm not entirely sure. What is this? Is this a sizzle reel? That's nice. You thought you could get rid of me, but you can't. Anyways, Instagram and the Game Awards have teamed up for six new AR effects you can share to Instagram Reels. I played with them yesterday at home and posted to the Game Awards profile. Check it out. You can transport yourself to Final Fantasy VII's train station, transform into the Doom Slayer, don the mask of the Ghost of Tsushima, sneak through The Last of Us, or even become Zagreus from Hades. Mm -hmm. To create your own, just head over to the Game Awards on Instagram, click on the effect icon, and share to Instagram Reels. And I'll be back later to show off some of your beautiful creations. Kill. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, right, cool. Is the car from Cyberpunk? Cool, 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 cool.
There you go, Forza, Cross, Cyberpunk, and later Keanu Reeves, Johnny Silverhand himself will be joining us to present the Best Direction Awards, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but welcome back. Now coming up next, we're gonna present the Best Ongoing Game Award, and the Twitch community thinks Fortnite is gonna win that with 47% of the votes. Cool. Well, let's find out the Twitch community is right. Uh, we're going to present the Best Ongoing Game, which recognizes five outstanding titles that continue to deliver for fans. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Yay! Here I go. Our enemies stand no chance against this power. Oh shit, I don't care about this. I mean, No Man's Sky has done it's done All right, well, now it's done amazingly. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. All right, here we go. Uh, and the winner is... The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. Holy shit! Um, I was not expecting that. Uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, please thank the fans. It's normally, Twitch is right, Jeff. It's normally Fortnite. It's always Fortnite that beats us. Uh, shit, uh, thank you so much. Um, Are you allowed to swear? We're really lucky. You know, we get to come to work every day and make games. No Man's Sky is such a wonderful game to work on, you know. Um, it's not always easy, though. Uh, so moments like this, they Thank the lot. fans. Thank you the know, fans. This means a lot to me. It means thank a lot the to the team. Thank you so much. Thank you to the community for continuing to support us. Thanks. That's great. Congratulations, Sean Murray, No Man's Sky, best ongoing game. Now, every year leading uh, into the show, there's always a lot of speculation, a lot of games that you might be anticipating, but there are always a what few you're not expecting. Like this one. Check out this world premiere. Oh, boy. What was, what was, it, what was the title there? It's weird. Huh? What the hell is the Callisto Protocol? No. 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 Okay. No. 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 Oh, that. Oh, that's a holo. Uh, that's holographic. Okay. That's weird, though. It's being hacked. Are you seeing this? Something ain't right. Who are you talking to? What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? What is happening here? It 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 gives this me transport ship What's that? Yeah, what's that? that? It gives me dead space vibes, but it There's a cholesterol protocol, whatever that is. Okay, we're okay. We're, we're we've started announcing things two two years away. That's fine. It's tracking distance studios. Oh, that's a cool logo. What's Crafton? I'm feeling some Dead Space vibe. Yeah. A little wonder why. You know him from his work on Dead Space and Call of Duty. Here's the CEO of Striking Distance Studios. Okay. Glenn Schofield. Hey, Glenn. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, the Callisto Protocol has been in development for uh, over a year and a half with a team of well over 100 take, people. Take your time, dude. It's a single-player, third-person, story-driven survival horror game yep. set in the year 2320 on Jupiter's moon of Callisto. 
Uh, Our goal is to make the single most scariest game for PC and consoles. And we're so excited to be able to show it here tonight. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Thank you very much, Glenn. We're looking forward to hearing more about that next year. All right. Announced back in July, Warhammer 40K Dark Tide is a four-player co-op game from Fat Shark, the developers behind Warhammer Vermintide 2. Well, tonight, they're sharing a first look at the gameplay. Check cool. this out. Not going to play it, I don't think. Please announce stuff I want. Like Final Fantasy VII remake part two or more final fantasy 16 stuff oh she's cool Wish list now. Yeah, that does make a difference. Now it is time to recognize some other winners. In the category of best art direction, the nominees are Final Fantasy VII Remake, yep. Ghost of Tsushima, mm -hmm. Hades, Ori yep. and the Will of the Wisps, all, and all The great. Last of Us Part Two. And the game award goes to Ghost of Tsushima. Nice. Congratulations to Sucker Punch. For best action game, the nominees are Doom Eternal, Hades, Half-Life Alex, Neo 2, and Streets of Rage 4. And the winner is Hades. Nice. Super Giant. In the category of best VR AR, the nominees are Dreams, Half-Life Alex, Marvel's Iron Man VR, Star Wars Squadrons, and The Walking it, it, Dead it Saints might be, and Sinners. It might be Half-Life Alex. And the Half -Life Alex. goes to Half-Life Alex, congratulations to Valve. Yep. For best just, sports racing game, those yeah. nominees are Dirt 5, F1 2020, FIFA 21, NBA 2K21, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater sports 1 and 2. Slash racing. And the game award goes to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Holy 1 and 2. Shit. Congratulations, Tony. Get dunked on. And for the most anticipated game, voted on on Twitter this year, the nominees are Elden Ring, there I said it. God of War sequel, Halo Infinite, Horizon Forbidden West, Resident Evil Village, it's... and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Oh fuck. Sequel. Oh and fuck. Your most anticipated game. I didn't even is see this category. Elden Ring. Congratulations to From Software. Are they going to show right. anything from this it? This next game comes from the creators of Gone Home and Tacoma. The Fulbright Company okay. and Annapurna Interactive present one part road trip, one part mystery with two familiar voices. Check it out. Yeah, it's gonna be Laura Bailey again, isn't it? Is it gonna be Laura Bailey and Troy Baker? My name is Testavine, and what? the world is passing me by. Wait, is that Ashley? I guess as I get a little older, I'm starting to feel how things change. Is that Ashley? They decline and go away. That's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her oh, I, things, I love the style. we found hints of something she never told us about. A man who wasn't my grandfather. A burglary ring. Oh. Some sort of lost fortune. Well, that's gonna we be can't ask her about these things Laura anymore, Bailey? so we have to go looking for the answers ourselves. Is it? My mom and I are out on the road, searching. I don't know what we'll find, but whatever it is... Is it Laura Bailey and, and we'll Ashley Johnson? Are you serious? Together. Carrie Russell and Kit... No, I don't... I don't know those names. Carrie Russell is, is weirdly familiar. 